Banking analyst Joe Jackson has cast doubt on a cut on lending rates following a projection of a policy rate reduction due to moderate inflation by the Economist Intelligence Unit. He argued that the country's high interest rate is attributable to excessive government borrowing. He spoke with Nwong Falong. The Economist Intelligence Unit, ERU, has predicted the Bank of Ghana, BOG, will lower its lending rate this year. In its latest country report, the Business Intelligence Advisory projected the central bank's policy rate, which presently stands at 16%, could be reduced further as inflation has declined. Since January last year, the Monetary Policy Committee has stayed the rate at 16% as inflation remained volatile. Ghana's inflation currently stands at 8.2%. The firm argues the slowdown in inflationary pressures will push the policy rate downwards especially as the Bank of Ghana tries to support lending to the private sector. The government is the biggest borrower. How can you have this conversation without considering the behavior of the biggest borrower we have in this country? He's the biggest single borrower. If the biggest single borrower has such a high demand for local uh, funds, well, nothing is going to change. If you want the rate to fall, let the government borrow less. He is of the view lending rates will see major revision downwards when government stops crowding out private sector borrowing. The government is crowding out borrowing for the private sector. The last two-year government bond was sold at, at, at over 20%, 20.5%. So don't tell me about the base rate when the government itself puts its in quotes riskless is doing 20 point something percent. What do you expect the commercial sector to do? The benchmark interest rate in Togo stands at 4%, 4.5% in Ivory Coast and 3.5% in Cameroon. In December last year, the Bank of Ghana reported credit stance on loans to enterprises tightened while government remained the largest borrower. The share of credit to the public sector as of August 2019 increased by 9.6% from 7.6% in August 2018. The increase was reflected in all public sector credit, namely credit to the government, public institutions and public enterprises. 